Good morning everyone and welcome back to the two-headed rule of gaming channel and Total War Saga Troy, the Memnon campaign, where last time we have lost an army while besieging the island of Syros. It was our third army, our third warband, which didn't have a whole lot of experience and had quite a few troubles in fighting with better armored troops and I feel like that was the big downside for them they needed a lot more experience to be able to to fight in some of these territories and thus when we attacked the village of Syros these shielded spearmen really pushed the balance of power and thus I decided I will continue besieging it and very the very interesting thing of watching a series like this is that you can learn pretty quickly how how someone thinks about their moves and what they think might happen and see the results of it very quickly it takes a lot more while playing on on your own and then taking some breaks during the day and then coming back you don't remember all of the moves but while watching the previous episodes i realized that when i attacked the village of Syros, i was worried that a supporting army might attack us during the attack and or during the siege and while well, after i ended the turn and nothing happened i decided to wait one more turn so that these troops will take some attrition and thus have an easier time so i got a bit overconfident i got a bit oh well if we didn't get attacked by the ai on this turn it's definitely a good chance that we won't be attacked the next turn and unfortunately a supporting army did arrive it felt like we had a lot of chances because they were in forced march, because they were tired. It felt like I had a very good chance to win the battle over here. And I feel like I did as well as I could. There were definitely things that I could have done better, but I had a very good chance to win the battle there. Unfortunately, it didn't happen. We have lost the third warband. But very interesting. I feel like that's why I always loved watching other people play Total War and play and see their campaign evolve. And this is why I'm doing it today. For now, let's just get into into the fight here for the first village of Sparta. I am very curious about those swordsmen. I haven't seen the before that unit. I guess it's specific to Sparta. But we shall see in a moment. Now what I am thinking right now is that I will be engaging them as soon as possible and then support them with support the rest of the armies with the spear. Getting engaged very quickly, it feels like the right way to go. So I'm going to put two militia over here and I am going to use them as shields for these stuff bearers, which will do a lot of damage. And then I'm going to be supporting the rest of the army using. I feel like in this situation, because it's a very narrow passage, it's better to support them using archers because they have a larger range and thus they can hit their ranged troops from the back. And let's take a look here at these warriors of Artemis. I do like the white robes and the pelts. They do feel very representative of Artemis, at least the way that I'm imagining it anyway. Over here, I will be bringing... I am thinking maybe we'll have only one militia unit here and we will be supporting them with two spear units and two javelins. I think I like that idea. And finally we will have only one militia troop on this side. Or no, we'll bring two militia troops on this side supported by a billman and a better javelin unit. And I feel like that's all that we have to worry about for the moment. I will, not fail. I will keep Memnon together with a bunch of spears on this side. I feel like this is the least supported army. And then we will have two warriors here. Sure. And another spear warrior on this side. Either way, Your let's start the battle. Ooh, very interesting. Let me just quickly pause. As I do want to see what that sword unit is, but it feels like it, it just disappeared on me. And I'm wondering if that is the 
particularity for this unit like they are stealth maybe we don't have a great line of sight on them maybe that is the case okay um i guess i can just keep going right so let's go after them let's see what we managed to do over here it's an interesting way they've deployed not exactly the way i expected them to but here we go here they are night runners so what are their unit like sword and shield infantry they do have some melee they have a few abilities here and there but a bunch of them are tired and that's why they have these decreased stats they have extra 20 percent extra melee attack and weapon damage they have ferocity when they're less at when they have less than 50% HP, their melee attack and weapon damage increases by a further 20%. They stalk. This is a really good unit. And they do look cool as well. I like the shields and everything. We should be playing the Spartans next, to be honest. I am thinking that that might be actually really cool. Okay, let's attack like this. Have one archer unit focus on them and one on them. We'll resume the battle. Let's quickly bring in the spears. Okay, we're getting to those slingers. Great. Let's try to focus on these javelins here. Good, good. Overall, good work. We're bringing everybody in the fight. I'm actually going to take one of these spears and see if I can just... Yeah, let's just focus on this militia. We've taken out one of their heroes very quickly, which is beautiful. Didn't expect it at all. Let's go and engage these spear warriors here. Great. Yeah, we, we're doing a lot of damage here very quickly. Which I don't mind at all. Uh, one of the units is broken. Let's continue over here and try to get to these slingers as they will definitely come back. Your warriors are losing heart. I am thinking that these units will break, so maybe maybe do a road like this. Yeah, let's do that. Dude, the spears broke. We can take these javelins, go towards these slingers. Victory is close enough to taste. Victory is close enough to taste. Well, this went smooth. Very smooth, even. Let's go towards this hero there. Yeah, we're gonna bring everybody in. Do these Artemis warriors... Or the Artemis warriors have serrated edges, so they do lower morale. Provides bonus melee attack and melee defense while in a forest. They can snipe. The unit remains hidden while firing. Okay, well, that is really good to know. There we go. What a great battle. I feel like this army is so strong at this point. I'm super happy for it. Do I want... Let's get the extra damage rather than replenishments or anything else. He has also became Fabled, giving an extra 6 damage to the hero attack, plus aura size increased by 20%. Now, one big advantage of the aura, I feel like it also increases the range at which we frighten units, right? This unit frightens all enemy units, reducing their morale when nearby. Well, it doesn't say within the aura. So maybe it's not fully like I'm thinking about it. Still. Let's see. Reduced upkeep for the different warriors. I think I'm okay with upkeep. I don't really care. I would care more about the different abilities here. And let's go for the cleave. Do I want the cleave? I think I really want the... Re recharge of the stamina 
that's one of the stats which we definitely can't get back at any point so let's get it while we have the opportunity what do i want here more ranks the administration efficiency was important to me getting this sounds even better right yeah, so at this point, we're going for the procession of Hephaestus, giving us the next level of weapons and armors. So that would be great for us. I wanted to check this. Okay, at this moment, we don't have any extra warriors. We do have some food to where I'm thinking of assigning another follower here. And if I was to recruit another warlord? Well, there's quite a few things that I could do, but let's quickly check on diplomacy. So we are at war with Mycenae, Argos, Akis, Troizen, pretty much everybody here south of Greece. And I was wondering whether it would not be a better idea to start going north. Like, leave this faction alone and start going north. But on the other side, I feel like getting the resources is important. Yeah, some favor. We could use some favor with Ares. Let's just go forward. Let's do, try to get these resources. Wow. That was a nice attack. I love some of these animations. I think they're really, really good. Okay, let's get the extra damage. As we're definitely going to fight a hero here soon with an army. Yeah, look at that, a 20 stack hero. Mm, what do we want to give you next? The extra range of archers, extra range of javelins. We do have javelins in this army. Let's get the extra range for javelins. I wonder if they're going to attack us. They do have quite a few units. These archers will definitely do a lot of damage if we let them. Our light troops are not great against ranged troops. We will need... How much? It doesn't say how much we need in order to recruit another hero. Or I am missing it, I guess. Oh no, six. Six population. We have zero right now. And how many do we have here? Five. Maybe I will recruit another army here to the south and try to train them up as we start moving north. There are a few islands here. There is another island, I believe, here, which has a city, if I remember correctly. But anyway, that is it for now. Let's end the turn. They will give us wood for the gold. And I will accept. I find that to be useful. Some agent action. Oh, nope. Okay. It seems like they are about to attack us here. Using only two armies. Can I take them on? And I believe that the answer to that question is yes. We're gonna get a bunch of casualties in the process, but I feel like it's no better time than the moment to do it. I have to take into account that their archers are probably decent in melee. And that we do have a few losses here, a few troops who are not doing too great. How do I want to do this? I feel like probably the best idea would be to just rush him. I feel like that could be a great idea, to just rush and then bring these supporting troops afterwards. If I engage him quickly in melee, I get some charges off. 
without taking a lot of ranged damage. I feel like this could work. Let's see. I will deploy like this. Which is a very... Oh, nope. Ah. The map is not allowing us to do too well. I could deploy up here. I am thinking that if I deploy on two flanks, like for example, one here and one here, that there it's a bit of a problem because if I try to bring this army around, let's say that they do engage this flank and I bring this army around through here, then we will have their reinforcements attack us. And that would be problematic. Okay, cancel the plan. Cancel the, pl the plan on deploying the way I fought in the beginning. We're going to have a line of spears here together with the general. We're going to have another line over here. Have all the javelins like so and then have the militia support the flanks. There we have it. The enemy is receiving Okay. Hell. Look at that. Very wide formation. I am thinking what I could do is I'll bring everybody forward here. We can do sort of a squeeze. Meaning I could have a bunch of javelins up this hill here. I could have two of these units on this side, right? Actually, let's bring yeah, all of these. We'll have them here to protect. We'll have two javelins on this side. We will quickly push these spears forward. Like so. And I will have these ones just put themselves in a formation like this. I'm trying to somehow box them in. Now let's not rush too much over here. Let's bring the hero on this side. Yeah, their, their archers are going to have an opportunity here to attack us. Good. Rush. Let's bring the hero forward as well. Javelins will cause a lot of damage there. We'll bring two more spears to support them here. Okay. They are engaging. They're trying to gather over there. Which is smart of him. To push all of his troops on one side. But the way that we are going to make their life a living hell is by going forward and Your warriors have been routed. partially focusing on these archers. I look at the rate of fire on those archers. They're, they're doing a lot on us. Yeah. Good. Focus. Focus. Focus here. Don't go too far. Okay. Well, we're doing a lot of damage. We've reached their troops, their ranged troops. So at this point, it should give us a nice advantage. Yes. Keep pushing. You keep pushing as well. Let's have you target those units. We'll focus on these heroes. Let's turn around these javelins. Oh, let's go after his archers here. With our hero. Our hero should be doing pretty well there. And yeah, let's stay on him. These units, let's stay on those archers. You attack over here. Let's see. Good, we're fighting. Nice. Good. Those spears have broken. We're gonna tire, start targeting their heroes. You. Now, he's turning around with a few units and I will really have to use my hero to turn around, right? 
Let's scare them and let's engage them. Now we have these sort of Viking units, these horned helmets. Which should do a good job even against two-handed spear infantry. Good. Let's attack, let's box them in. Make sure that we keep focusing on using their ammunition. Good, 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 good. Absolutely great. Let's focus on the rest. I feel like this battle is done, and it is. I'm just gonna use this opportunity to make sure that we're reducing their numbers drastically. And I think that's all that I could do overall. Yeah, good enough. Okay, that turned out to be better than I expected it to be. Only lost 231. They've lost 1,500, almost 1,600 troops. Or around 1,600 troops. Let's get 14% on the replenishment rate. Could I go around the city? So now he has decided to go in a force march just to get himself inside the city. And that is really smart, I would say. The reason why is because he has taken one turn of replenishment from that battle. So have we, and that is good. We can upgrade the weapons and armors. With 80, we have upgraded them. Oh, it's actually not here that I thought we would get level 5. It's actually with Memnon. But either way, let's go forward. Over here... Now they're giving them good chances. Do I want to call in a bunch of troops? I believe that we are fine. Even if they sally out and attack us, we should be okay. Even with a supporting army. I don't think they can recruit as many troops as he would need in order to go forward. With Memnon... Okay, you have leached the level 3 temple for Hephaestus, meaning that we can upgrade them. On one side, I like the fact that the temple of Hephaestus provides us with these bonuses, but I would really love to see a thought in these games where you build a blacksmith in town or you build a blacksmith with, with the war camp. Because having to pray to a god in, all, in order to build armor seems... Mm, uh, it's one of those things where it's like, really? <laughs> do I really have to do that? But you can't figure out that you need weapons and armors on your own. You know? Forward. Okay. Keep going forward. Sparta is, has very little defense. Although their main city does provide 15 troops, plus another 3, plus another 3, which he will recruit along the way. Yeah, I'm guessing it's not going to be as easy, and he might be getting some reinforcements. What do I want to do here? Now, I am thinking that I do have the population to bring in another hero, right? And... Yeah, the old hero, you can see, he's not wounded, it's not an epic hero, so he just straight up died. We are in the historical setting after all. And what do we want to bring up next? That is a good question. Do I want to bring in another fighter? Could be a good idea. Ravager, Vanquisher. Let's get a Vanquisher, I don't know what type of skills he has. But we get enough... Level ups here from Athena. Assault and battery once again. Frenzy. Plus 30 to weapon damage. Minus 200% to attack interval. Meaning we're attacking quicker. We're applying damage quicker. But minus 1 to stamina per second. That is... That is <laughs> definitely a challenge to, to accept. I am going to get staff bearers. 
grants fatigue reduction to the entire army, or we could get some bonuses to morale to some units and also be turning them into disciplined. Expandable and disciplined. Fatigue reduction is good overall. I am working towards unlocking better units, but it's not going to happen for a while. Still, let's get the fatigue reduction at least one level. Yeah, I am going to give up on that. We're going to get assault and battery as well. And let's reduce the chance of enemy agents attacking us. I feel like we are in danger for that to happen. Especially in this area. Let's take a look at some of the units that we can call in. And we do have plus 3 here. And we said that we are going to do... A call in. But how do I want to build this army? Like, if I call these, we would have three stuff bearers, which would be absolutely great. And we would have a bunch of archers and a bunch of javelins, better javelins and better archers. That would be great. Getting three of these infantry and three of these chariot runners plus chariots would also be absolutely great. Let's call them here. And let's build this army using some of these troops wonder how much it will cost us let's see so we're doing this we're bringing in a bunch of spears and we will bring two chariots to begin with this will be our army to start with we're losing 27 bronze that's not a, a lot a thousand food that is higher but yeah this will give us the potential to to take out some of these towns without having to force or work on the experience. It is giving us a good chance. We've seen a lack of experience in one of our previous armies. How it pretty much lost. Even against a smaller army. Anyway, let's end our turn here. Let's see what's going to happen next. Okay. We are getting attacked by an unexpected army. Diomedes is coming towards us. One of their army is tired. The other one is just attacking us, but they don't have the best of troops. Still, these losses could mean that we are in a slightly precarious situation when we're attacking Sparta. There is mud here. Which would mean it's a problem for units which are not light. I wonder if we should just straight up attack. I I could do something like this. And like this. And then have all of these javelins deployed there. Right. And afterwards we have our hero. Together with a bunch of spears. We will quickly march to the front. As commanded. The enemy is receiving reinforcements. Yeah, let's bring you all here. I am going to charge. As you can see, they're already losing some morale. All of these troops are light, so it's not super ideal to fight in the mud but if we're b battling here and Diomedes is bringing his troops around nice one of these units will turn around here the other one will turn around over here you focus on battling these guys yeah, we're taking some damage from some of these troops Your warriors are losing heart. Great. Turn around. You turn around here. You now support this part of the army. Yeah. Everybody's running here. As soon as we hit them, it's going to be easy. 
uh, for these javelins. Let's start attacking these units. Good. Javelins, let's reposition. Archers, let's reposition. The warriors of Artemis are helping us a lot. Let's just try to take his hero out. These are light troops as well, so we could fight in the mud. <laughs> now let's attack Diomedes there. Okay, let's run away, bring them back here. We are starting to get target by, targeted by their slingers. Is this a medium unit? Yes. One of your so. units has no more ammunition. Good, let's attack. Attack. We're gonna wait for those medium troops to get inside this swamp. And then we're going to attack. It might not be a whole lot, but every little bit counts, I say, in this situation. Perfect. The enemy hero has sustained the wound. They're trying to go around us for some reason. He thinks that he's smart and that somehow that is going to help him win. I doubt it. Good, let's rush them here. Let's terrify this unit. Let's also increase the power of some of these. Great, great, and great. You go there. Let's bring you around here. Yeah, two of these units will go forward. You turn around. You focus on that guy. Magnific. A great battle overall. I really feel like the, the warrior of Artemis are pulling their weight here a lot. We see their troops breaking and demoralizing very quickly. Okay, let's get the replenishments, as that's, that is the thing that prepares us for the battle with Sparta here. They're still mustering, they're still recruiting. Okay, someone else declared war on us, that is totally fine by me. And we do have another battle for the next episode. This plays into our hand. Hope you have enjoyed this episode as we're going to continue with another battle and I don't think it's going to present much of a challenge to us. And I'll see you tomorrow then. Till then, wish you all to have a wonderful day.